So we're here with Sean Logan. Sean, one of the big decisions that students face is when to actually apply for college. Can you kind of walk me through how to think about that decision? Sure. So th there are basically three different you know, types of ap applying that students will do. Uh, one type of it is in, in early programs. Um, a second is rolling admission. And the third is just regular admission. Great. And, and what are sort of what do each of those mean? What are the differences? So in the early process, there's, there's typically three different programs that students want, may want to take advantage of. Um, there's early decision, okay. restrictive early action, okay. and there's also just regular early action. Great. And can you explain what each of those are? So the, the nice thing is that they, they generally all use about the same time frame. So generally, the, 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 the time frame is applications due sometime in early November, typically November 1. And you generally, will, you generally will find out the decision sometime in the middle of December, usually around December 15th. Okay. Um, but then there are you know, differences between the different programs. So within early decision, um, that is considered a binding process. So if you apply to the school by November 1st, and you're admitted by December 15th, the expectation is you're going to attend that school. Okay. Um, with restrictive early action and, and early action, they are both programs that allow students to apply to them, be admitted, but then you know, still make decisions on other schools. So you're not obligated to attend. Um, the difference between the two programs is restrictive early action. Um, there are just a, a handful of schools in this, in this category, but you can only apply to them and other public schools early. You can apply to how many ever you want, regular decision, but only that school and, and public institutions. Early action programs allow you to apply to as many other schools as you want to. There's no restrictions. Great. And so let me make sure I understand. So an early decision, if I apply there and I get in, I'm, I'm committed yep. and I'm supposed to go. With both of the early action programs, I'm not committed. And so, the, and so it's just a way to kind of figure out early if I'm in. Um, the only difference between restrictive versus non-restrictive is the restrictive, I'm not supposed to apply to other private schools early, mm -hmm. um, whereas in the non-restrictive early action, or the standard early action, I can apply to anywhere else early. Pretty course. much, yep. Great. Makes a lot of sense. So Sean, you mentioned rolling. Can you tell me a little bit more about how that works? Sure. So rolling programs are used mostly by sort of non-selective or selective schools. Uh, and generally, within a say a four week or five week period, they will typically, if you would get all your material in by that by a certain you know by a date, four weeks later, they will typically have a decision for you. Um, and again, that's good for the school in terms of them starting to, to create their class. Um, and for you as a student, it may be certainly a school that you're interested in, but it allows you to get information earlier. Like, yes, I'm admitted. I already can kind of put that in my yes category and maybe tail the rest of my list based off of that admission. Great. So it sounds like rolling is, is sort of a great way to get potentially an acceptance early on in the process. And, it is. And know you're going to college. Yep. Awesome. And then the final thing you mentioned was regular decision. I take it that's sort of the standard way that people have applied to college in the past? Right. And again, the, the, the time frame varies a little bit, um, but most regular decisions usually are sometime in January that, that the application is due into February, somewhere in there. Um, and then generally you will find out by mid-March if you've been admitted or not. Um, and again, the great majority of kids that apply to college will use a regular system. Um, you may have heard, you know, you hear a lot about the early processes at these really, really selective schools, but the great majority of kids actually use the regular decision process. Great. Well, that actually kind of brings me to my next question, which is who should be applying, you know, early versus rolling versus regular? And so let's actually start with early and, and specifically early decision. Right. You know, which students should be applying early decision? So since it's a binding decision you're making, you really have to do a good job of really doing your research and doing your homework uh, and really knowing that that school that you're choosing is your top choice. Um, so again, it's about making sure you go through the research process, maybe visiting, if and not visiting, making sure you're on the web and really doing your homework. Um, especially as a low-income student, you also want to check all of these schools, every school by law has a financial aid calculator on their website and that can also help you figure out what your financial aid package may look like because obviously you don't want to get into a binding situation of the financial aid that you don't think that will work for your family. So you also want to do your homework and make sure or, you know that the financial aid looks like it'll work for your family. So if all of that lines up and you think it's your, you know it's your first choice, then you know that that's a that's a great reason to go ahead and, and try your luck applying early. So 
why exactly would I do that rather than waiting for the regular decision? Will I have a better chance potentially? So a lot of these schools in the early decision process um, take a higher percentage of kids. Um, and again, it, it may be an opportunity just for you to say, this is the school I want. I want them to know right up front. And if you get in, you're done by December 15th. You're not waiting until March. And you can sort of enjoy the rest of your senior year without worrying about the college piece. Um, so, the, you know, there is a bit of a, in some areas, a strategic advantage to do something early. Um, I will also say in the last three or four years, um, there still tends to be a lot of money left uh, for students in the early process. As you get into the regular rounds, um, sometimes there's not quite as much financial aid left. So in some ways, um, you know, you may actually have an opportunity to get a little bit more money, um, you know, in an early process. Great. So, so let's actually move on to sort of some of the other early options. You mentioned your restrictive early action or early action. In general, given that they're not binding, so this, the school won't know if you're going to be accepted, going there or not when they accept you, who should be applying early action? Again, I think it's you know an opportunity for students on the student side to say, hey, these are schools that I know I'm interested in. If you can give, if, if you can find out some information by December saying, yes, I'm admitted to these two, but no, I didn't get into these two, uh, it might help you in terms of how you other schools you may want to apply to. Um, your early action school may be your very top choice school, and again, if you get in by December 15th, you may be thrilled and be done with the process. Um, it also for kids who are first generation or low income kids where financial aid is a big issue, um, it also doesn't lock you in. So you have have the opportunity to get into that school, see what the package is, but then apply regular decision and see maybe if you get other, you know, packages that are that are better from other schools. Great. And and what about rolling? And I think we talked about this a little bit, just to make sure that I'm clear, who who should definitely be applying, you know, rolling admissions or should at least be considering a rolling admissions school? So a lot of schools, again, that use the rolling process, not all, but a lot, you know, it, it's an opportunity for you to get your inf information and and an application in early. Uh, they know you have some interest because you've, you've done it, say, in you know, September, October, November. Um, and again, there may be a little bit more money left. And if you wait to the very end of the process, they may be running low on money for financial aid. So you know, there may be an opportunity for you to, to really have, um, you know, have some money available to you. The other things about all early programs, both rolling and early, early action, early decision programs, is you know they're not going to get a chance to look at a lot of your senior year work so you better be really happy with your freshman sophomore and junior year work um, and have all your testing done that's necessary by those deadlines because um, if you don't then you may want to wait until you get all of that in place and then apply regular decision okay so it sounds like both early and rolling it's really for students who are feel good about their freshman through junior year work yep who don't feel like they need first semester senior year to sort of show an improvement correct so, okay let me make sure i get that down and what about regular decision? Who are the people who should definitely just wait for regular decision and put some of these earlier rolling options aside? Uh, I mean, I, again, I think it's if there's um, in your research process, if you're not far along in it, you need a lot more time, you know, before, you know, after November 1st um, to really do all your research. Um, you know, you're not going to be ready to really make a good application to an early decision or an early action or a rolling school. You really need to have done your research and know a little bit about that school to be able to sort of talk in essays and all that sort of thing. So you need to have your, you know, you need to have your work done um, to really be a good early applicant. If not, regular is a much better place for you to be in this process. Um, you know, again, and in general, you know, if you really want to compare financial aid packages across a wide variety of schools, you know, applying regular gives you, again, there's no binding, there's no, you know, thing that's going to be holding you down. Um, you know, and again, even though that may not happen in early action, um, you may not really find any schools that have early action programs that you're really excited about. So it may just be worth waiting until regular decision as well. Okay, great. And let me just make sure I've got it all clear. So with early decision, I apply, it's binding, whatever they give me, I'm going to go. And maybe, the, are there any circumstances where I could get out of that? So there is a circumstance where, again, if it's for financial aid reasons. So say that you did a calculator, it looked like you were going to get a good package, but in actuality, there were some things that happened in the financial aid package will not work for your family. Schools will typically let you out of that decision, but generally then you're out of their pool as well. Okay. So, you know, those extenuating circumstances aside, I'm committed with an early decision application. Correct. Yep. But I get the answer early. Yep. And there may be, it may increase my chance of getting into a particular school a little bit. Potentially. 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 There's early action options where I'm not committed. Right. Uh, but I do get the information early. Yep. And again, for schools that kind of give financial aid on a, um, can run out of financial aid later on in the season, this yep. might give you access to that financial aid earlier on. P potentially. Pot potentially. Again, yep. school by school, but potentially. Right. Rolling admissions, they're kind of letting you in as you're applying four to five, five-week turnaround. Again, 
the earlier you kind of get that in, the better you get the answer early, and you yep. also may have access to additional financial aid, right. potentially. Yep. And then regular decision is for folks who want to compare several offers, yep. um, or maybe just a little farther behind in their process, yep. and want to make sure that they kind of have everything set before they apply. Right. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Sean.